September 6, 2014 from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska with the McNeese State Cowboys visiting the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And the Cornhuskers came into this game ranked number 19 in the nation. And the McNeese State Cowboys represent the Southland Conference against this Big Ten Conference powerhouse. They came in there and they gave them a run for their money. And what a game this was. The Cowboys got on the board first at the 8 minute and 26 second mark in the first quarter. Derek Milton had a 9 yard touchdown run that put the Cowboys up 7 to nothing over Nebraska. Then at the 6 minute and 44 minute mark, Jordan Westerkamp caught a 40 yard pass from Tommy Armstrong Jr. And that tied the game at, at 7 apiece. Then with three minutes left in the first quarter, Amir Abdullah had a two-yard touchdown run, and it was now 14-7 as Nebraska took the lead. But not so fast as in the second quarter with 10 minutes and 8 seconds left before halftime, Aaron Sam came up with a huge interception in the pick six as he ran it back 98 yards. For the touchdown as the defense scored and they tied this game. So the Cowboys tied this one up as Aaron Sam took the ball and ran the length of the field with it. 98 yards. Just two yards shy of 100. But then about four minutes later with five minutes and 47 seconds left before halftime. Tommy Armstrong Jr. redeems himself as he crosses the goal line on a one yard run. To give Nebraska back the lead at 21 to 14, and that would be the score going into halftime. As the Cornhuskers led by seven in the third quarter, the only scoring that this game saw was from Drew Brown as he hit a 31-yard field goal that extended the Cornhuskers' lead to 10 points over the Cowboys heading into the fourth quarter. But then, at the 13 minute and 45 second mark in the fourth. Tyler Bolfing had a one-yard touchdown run that made this a three-point game as the Cowboys scored the touchdown, and it was now 24-21. And then with four minutes and 21 seconds remaining in this game, Alex Kelsten kicked the field goal and tied this game up. So it was now tied up at 24 apiece as the Cowboys came back down by 10 to tie it up. The Cornhuskers were now looking at a possibility of defeat, or going to overtime at least. But then with 20 seconds left in the game, Amir Abdullah came up huge with a 58-yard reception from Tommy Armstrong Jr. that put the Cornhuskers back up by 7, and that would be the final score as this game ended at 31-24 to as the Cornhuskers nearly won this game there in Lincoln, Nebraska. As it was quite the close call as McNeese State gave him a scare. And in this game, Tommy Armstrong Jr. was 16 for 31 with 242 yards passing. He had two touchdowns and one interception. That interception was returned for a touchdown by Aaron Sam. Armstrong Jr. was the game's leading rusher as he ran for 131 yards off 11 carries for an average of 11.9. He also ran for a touchdown, so he averaged more than a first down per carry. Amir Abdullah struggled on the ground. He had 54 yards off 17 carries and only averaged 3.2 yards per carry. He did have a touchdown on the ground, though. But where he came through huge was through the air as he caught three passes for 96 yards, and one of which was a touchdown, that 58-yard touchdown. It's Amir Abdullah was able to win the game with that touchdown as he caught the pass from Tommy Armstrong, Jr., for McNeese State, they had nobody that got over 100 yards rushing or receiving, although their leading rusher was Daniel Sams, who ran for 74 yards off of just 10 carries. He was impressive. Both teams did come away with an interception. Aaron Sam, as we said earlier, with that 98-yard pick six as he scored that defensive touchdown for McNeese State. And Corey Cooper had an interception for Nebraska. That wasn't for a pick six, though. <laughs> but all in all, what a game this was. Nebraska almost lost. They pulled this one off on a spectacular play 